I'm so tap tap, and I'm in one of those moods where I just want to play a bunch of small, chill, interesting games. So, what I usually do is I have a bunch of games on itch.io that I'll just go through and play. This one sounded really interesting. I thought I should look at some of the description here before we start playing. So, maybe I'm growing old. Maybe the more world I know is on the verge of collapse. Maybe I need some artistic routine and discipline to pretend it'll be all right. World of Awe is kind of intimate year-long game jam with a focus on level design, ambient music. The game itself offers a con contemplative first-person experience. You simply walk the road one day at a time, wondering what comes next. 2017, every day the road will get a new section for you to explore. The game will be updated through Itch Early Access Program. So if you use the Itch app, which is what I'm, this that's what this is, um, it'll automatically update um, every day, and I've seen some screenshots of this, which is why I wanted to play it. I follow the developer on Twitter. Um, I don't know if you could access all of the prior, like, sections, or how this works exactly. Well, you have to right-click to, well, huh? These are some, these are some 90s controls, you know what I mean? So, like, oh, it's like an auto-walk thing. And, uh, you have to right-click to move around. And the, you can stop or you can walk. Far from being a run button, the shift key actually stops you? What are you doing? Wait. Did I turn off auto-run or something? Am I not auto walking anymore? Anyway, I really like the aesthetics of some of the stuff I saw in here. I don't know if you have to walk through each section. Wait, how do we get over there? I guess it's an auto walk, so there's only one way to go. <laughs> stairs are a little jerky. Ooh, ah. you like it feels like you vibrate up the stairs like oh, ooh. feels like a little inappropriate for the children's. I don't know. I don't know if Tiny Babs should be allowed to play this game. That might get some vibrations. Oop. Ooh. Got some ambient. I've been, I played a couple other games before this. Everything has had suitably ambient music. It's kind of... I have I have a good eye for the kind of things I would like in the uh, strange whoa. Ah, here we go. Oh, I like the. I swear it was auto walking before and is no longer. Let me see if there's controls. Ah, uh, WSD. Right click to look around. Left click to move. I have no idea where the little will end. Like the author is of course on Twitter, not always the case. So I've I've seen I've sometimes there have been devs that do not have the Twitterinos. What the what the? Can I just click a thing and it tries to go all the way over there? Is that how this works? Maybe this is some freaking '90s controls. Then oh man, remember when you could just oh yeah that is how it works. Cause yeah the, the cursor turns green. I don't remember if I came from the up or down. I think it was from up. I remember being in the up-ish direction, I think. How do we get down there? Oh, <laughs> I was looking at stairs and I did not, I could not even tell. A road to awe. Oh, come on, keep going. I remember 90s controls when like everything had to be controlled by the mouse even if it made no sense. Aw, oh, now we're talking. Oh, I love that pink void in the background. I'm a big fan of pink voids. Pink buildings. Heck yeah. You ever make a void? Consider making it pink, you know? Nobody expects the pink void. A black void. Everyone, everyone, it's predictable. A black void. A red void. Getting warmer, getting warmer. But, uh, why not a pink void? There you go, my friends. I mean, pink is just a lightish red void anyway. If you wanted a red void, I guess it's kind of a half red, half pink void. But it's a good void. 
It's a good void. I'm an expert in voids. I've been to more voids than your body has room for. And uh, I say that this is a pretty good void. Ooh, I like this one too. We're, we're continuing the pink void, but pink sunset void, hot pink sunset void. <laughs> the stairs still feel like vibrations, like it's a little, oh. Back into Orange Town. I wonder if that is that the color that's coming up next at the top. So we're in Orange Town, and now we're going to Yellow Town. Maybe. I don't. I don't know exactly how this works. The auto walk actually does add to the experience. So I was making fun of '90s controls, which I mean, it, it does feel. If you've played '90s DOS games, like you, you know what I mean. But uh, it, it kind of works for it, and I mean, it kind of worked for those '90s games. Um, give me some vibes of, um, uh, um, those old Sierra point and clicks. <clears throat> Cause I mean, you point and you go there. Uh, I feel like I should play some more of those sometimes. I played, uh, Shadows of Darkness. That was one of my, that's one of my favorites. Yeah, I think this actually makes a lot of sense that you can just, you know, walk the road and look around. Not entirely sure why. Actually, no, I, I, I guess it makes sense that you have to right click to look around because this makes it easier to point to what you want. Because otherwise, it'd be kind of like trying to aim in portal or something. This makes it a little bit more precise. Well, a little bit less, you know. You feel a little bit less in control, but you're not really supposed to feel super in control. You're just supposed to, like, floop around and have fun, you know? Maybe not. Maybe just relax which is kind of what i wanted i wanted sometimes i just want to chill sometimes i don't feel like playing my other games i get i get there's the the performance anxiety there's just wanting to record the game well show it off well so people like understand what the game is you know sometimes you just need a chill game you can just sit back in your chair see some really cool sights some beautiful colors some nice wildlife Ooh. I like those pyramids. Surprised, the, I, I picked the fantastic in the graphics and it, it looks like it's maybe just um, um, FXAA, I think that is. The stuff that's kind of blurry. Um, I think it's just a Unity thing more than a, I mean, I wasn't expecting, this is a Unity, like, you know, Unity personal project sort of thing, but um, just a little surprising. Ooh. <laughs> I like that portal sort of looking thing. You feel like something's gonna happen when you walk through it. Oh, which is why we walk around it to, you know, prevent the ominous thing from happening. If this was a PS2 game, you can bet your batootie there would be a boss fight after this. Oh man, I've, I've been in a very <coughs> PS1, PS2 mood. I was watching RPG Limit Break, they're uh, Ah, the stairs. The stairs do bug me, honestly. Um, I guess it's kind of weird how smooth most games let you walk on stairs, because, I mean, it's not really a smooth... Like, in most games, it's just, like, slooping up a slope. It's kind of weird, but... Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is kind of... Head Bob City. Um, <laughs> it doesn't even feel like Head Bob. It just feels like vibrations. Um... I don't know why I stopped back there. Um, yeah, RPG Limit Break, it's kind of like, it's a speedrun marathon like AGDQ and that stuff. But uh, they play RPGs, obviously. And so I was watching some of the runs and uh, I watched Final Fantasy IX and uh, seven, And uh, some of the runs are pretty cool. Ooh, pink freaking pyramid. Heck yeah, that sounds like a freaking girl punk rock band, Pink Pyramid. Their logo would look suspiciously like a pink pyramid. You know. <laughs> I, I like some of the areas. The, the, the squares can be a little chunky. They, uh, at least in these early ones. I don't know if maybe the... I guess the very first ones we saw were like, you know, day, day one, I guess. You know, one a day. 
Oh, and on Twitter, he's been posting, the developer's been posting, um, they're kind of, uh, ooh, back to these colors. Um, they've been posting the section, so if you don't want to play the game every day, you can just watch on Twitter and see. Oh, we are moving. I wasn't sure. Um, eh? Oh, kind of auto turns. Um, you can kind of see the new sections. So I've seen quite a few rando sections. But I have not sit, sat down and just played it until now. The name's kind of fitting though. You kind of feel like... What are we going to see here? You kind of feel like... Look at this thing! Like I said, there's a freaking boss. Freaking Sephiroth. Sephiroth is on, on the other side of that thing. You know it. I know it. You can kind of see the seams. Is what I was talking about before. But... um. And Dot Hack is a PS2 game, like one of those older RPGs. Just a little bit clunky, but you gotta love the story and uh, the world building. In that is really great, and I uh, I mean to play that. Maybe may, it'd, be, it'd be a good stream game. I'm not sure if I'd want to emulate it or I'd have to get a PS2. Um, I don't sell consoles, kids. You will always regret it. Always, always. And it's gonna cost more to get it back when you do regret it. It sucks. I've regret I've regretted every single console I've ever sold, every game I've ever given away. Um, not every game, but I mean, every time I gave away or sold more than one game, I've pretty much regretted it. Um, I even kind of wish I had Sonic 06 uh, at the time. That was a pretty easy sell, though I probably got like less than five dollars for it. I think I sold it in like 2006, 2007. It would have been 2007, because I played, I think it was, I think it released a little later on PlayStation 3. But I had the PS3 version, which has even worse loading times, which, I mean, considering how bad they are, I don't think you can even tell. It's just always bad. Ooh. Gotta climb the obelisk. So how does this work? Do we, if I close the game, does it remember which stage I'm on? It'd be neat to see what day these things are on. Let me check the controls. Well, once I leave, I like the seafoam green stuff, by the way. Um, but yeah, I like, or uh, what was I saying? I just wonder how it works in terms of opening up the thing and checking out the new sections. Because obviously, if you have to walk the whole road every time, that would be, ooh, the blue pyramid. Ooh, the double blue, the double blue helix. It's not a pyramid at all. Some very good colors going on. I like I like games that know their colors. You give me a game with good colors, you will be my friend. All of the games I played today had pretty good colors. Some of them were procedurally generated colors. If you want a secret to my heart, colors. Nice, generally flat colors. Some low poly colors. Well, I mean, not low poly with good colors. Any, anything with good colors. It can be, it can be high res 2D art, it can be high poly, but, but colors, give me some freaking colors. That's one thing I really liked about, um, Horizon Zero Dawn, it was not afraid to have colors. I mean, it looked, it was, you know, it was going for realism and stuff, but they still included the freaking colors. And I'll go for a game with colors any day. Someday I need to go back and play, um my first PS3 game and see if I still actually like it or if it was hype. But I, I, Consensus was pretty positive, but um, Resistance, that was like the one thing to buy. Resistance and eventually Flow, whoa. There's a lot of bosses, there's a lot of final boss portals in this world. Um, yeah, I, it, I know that Resistance was guilty of the yellow filter, I think pretty significantly. It didn't, it didn't bug me too much at the time. Because, you know, it was going for World War One alternate reality. It was like an alternate... Wait. I think World War One happened and World War Two didn't or something. And humans got invaded by, you know, aliens, which kind of... Higher priority than war. Oh, some good pinks in this game. Most games are too afraid to have the nice pinks. Excuse me. I said go there. Most games are afraid to have the... Ah! Why? Why? Controls are a little weird. Sometimes when I right-click, it's like, no, I, I just keep going. I want you to go. Okay, it's doing it now. Too many games are afraid to have a nice, soft 
pink. It's just relaxing, you know? Not enough games are just nice and chill. Like, sometimes I want, like, I like shoot 'em ups and stuff. I like, there's plenty of hard games I like, but sometimes you don't want that. Which is funny, because I, I do sometimes play shoot 'em ups and stuff to relax, too. But sometimes I just want something like this. But alright, let's see. Options. Full screen of house. I was not expecting such video gamey sounds. Like, beepy boopy. Um, I'm just wondering, do I? A road to awe. I, uh, this is... Wait, this isn't where I started. No, this, this is the first place I was on, right? Uh, hmm. Whoa. Is this the new one? Wait, I don't know how this works. Can you go backwards and then you see the new thing? And then you go... I, I'm assuming that's how it works, maybe? Let me bring up the itch.io thing. Oh, that's that's a command window. Um, I have no idea where the road will lead, but feel free to come along. You're invited. Um, this section for you to explore. I don't know quite how it works. Um, I'm kind of assuming if you go one way, you start out with day one, and if you go the other way, you end up with the latest completed day, but I don't know which one is which. I guess it would be more obvious if I played tomorrow and tried to see. Well, now I feel like I'm in a DOS game and like in one of those mazes. I should have just clicked on the exit. Oh, here we go. We found the exit. This is a road to awe. This is, this is an interesting little personal project. I, I like that. This well, little. It's a year of new levels. Seems a little strange to call it little, but yeah. That, the segmentation could use some improvement there. Oh, I went backwards. Hold on. I just want to see... I just want to see the one next thing. It's funny, because the, the movement feels really smooth when you're just walking straight, but the stairs are chunky and the, uh, the seams. But improve those. I like that you can mostly just auto-go through it, because I just kind of want to... Sit back, relax, and enjoy some South Park. I mean, video game. Where are we going? Hey, lady, where are we going? Where are we going? Let's go to space. I'm sure there must be some kind of shader or some kind of deal that can hide those seams. I guess this project is almost halfway done, man. 2015 flew by, right? But in another way, it feels like it's been 10 years. Ooh, I like this one. Obviously got a limited set of like, it's and bits to make things, but it still makes some pretty, you know, awe-inspiring like, thingerinos. Like, look at that thing. It looks like a freaking Uncharted level. I can almost see Nate, like, climbing on a thing, and then he grabs a thing, and then it breaks, and he's like, Crap, crap, crap! You know the things. Alright, one last one. I just want to see what's at the other end of this. Whoa. <laughs> that is some aggressive yellow. I think this yellow is illegal in 40 states. What's with the glow? I feel like something ominous is down there. But I think it's probably just another hole. Yeah. But yeah, this is a road to awe. That's very chill. The music puts you in just the perfect mood. I wonder where the road will end. I, I guess I'll have to follow up on it at the end of 2017. Assuming the world is not completely destroyed, which seems possible. But uh, who knows?